We respectfully request the Sangha great virtues for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach and guide us how to end birth and death, leave suffering and attain bliss, and quickly realize non-birth. Kung thin dai du tang thin mi thu pha voi kham nha thi chung shan tin tiếng yêu pha lung yao dao na mong như há liêu shan thoa tư lý khô đà bla tơ chữ How much of the blessed noble and perfectly enlightened one? Namo Sananto Suchedo Ye Lahudi Samyo San Puto Sye. Namo Tagnata Toya Nadia Lahade Tamyo Tambo Da Toa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma in a hundred thousand million aeons is difficult to encounter. Now that I'm able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the thus come one's true and actual principles. Wu sheng 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 wei miao fa ba hi che wan che nan zao yi wo jin jie wen de shou qi yin jie ru la O Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Great Master Ching Yang, Great Master Xin Hua, all good monks and nuns and all good knowing advisors of me, Tofo. Jufo Pu Sa, Ching Yang Da Shi, Shi Fu Shang Ren, Go Wei, Chi Sha Ren, Go Wei, Shang Chi Shi, Mi Tofo. Jufo Pu Ta, Khen Thưa, Than Lương Dai Shi, Hoa Thượng Tinh Hoa. Quý Thầy Cô và Quý Vị Thịnh Sư Thức Cả Nhị Đạo Phật. Hello everyone, uh, today is the 25th of August 2023. We're here in Go Forest uh, to continue discussing the prologue to the Avatamsaka Sutra. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, it's a lot of you who would like to attend the lectures. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a nice to have you here. Okay, we're at uh, um, uh, slide number 542. is uh, talking about uh, the uh, four types of uh, teachings uh, that the ancients, the experts, so-called Dharma master experts, used to choose to uh, classify the Buddha's teaching into four types of teachings. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, jump right into it. The fourth, teach, uh, establishing four teachings. In general, there are four representatives one, Dharma Master Wang Chai of the Liang Dynasty, who, based on, upon rule two of the, of the Dharma flower, set up teachings of the four vehicles. The fourth, 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 the uh, he, uh, Master Qingyang says, in the past, uh, 
the Dharma masters chose to classify the Buddha Dharma into four types of teachings, and there are four groups. Uh, the one group here he starts discussing is from Dharma master Wang Chai of the Liang Dynasty. Um, that's based on uh, the uh, Dharma Flower Sutra, uh, role number two. Uh, and uh, his name is Wang Chai. Uh, his, uh, Wang is uh, life, Chai is house or home. So uh, his teacher chose to, uh, uh, his name here means that uh, the house uh, of light, the house emits light. Uh, and so, uh, in a way, uh, a house represents him, and he emits light, meaning that his job was to illuminate uh, their uh, things so that living beings can see clearer. So that's his, uh, his role in, in his, as, uh, as a professional, right? Mm. Okay, next, 544, that is the three carts by the door are the provisional teachings of the three vehicles, while the eco bestowing at the crossroad is the actual teachings of the great vehicle. Wait, Ling Men San Chu, Ji Shi, Quan Jiao San Shen, um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Su Ji. Si Chu Dan Ci, Ji Shi Jiao Da Shen. Okay. Um, 544, 4, 5, uh, commentary. Uh, so, uh, the three carts by the door. The door here refers, this is a story, this is a storyline in the Dhamma Flower Sutra or the Lotus Sutra. Uh, here, the uh, Buddha, uh, who's uh, uh, represented by an elder, uh, he walked by and he saw a bunch of kids playing uh, uh, obliviously in a house that's burning. And that's us, kids of us, children who don't know better, who are like many of you, uh, so absorbed by having fun, by playing. Okay, so these kids are us, playing inside the house, and the house is burning, uh, meaning they are in great danger, and they have no clues. They are about to lose their lives. They are about to suffer greatly, okay? And the Buddha, as the elder, he walked by, he saw it, and he says, hey, boys and girls, uh, there are three carts out here, outside the door. That's mean by, uh, by the door. Outside the door, he come out, through that door right, right there. There are three cards here uh, that you can play. And that has all, in the three cards, you have all kinds of toys for you. And all the toys you can think of. What are they? Uh, Xiao Kai, what do you have for toys? Uh, remote control cars, uh, helicopters, fire trucks, you name it. Red cars for me, and so forth. Uh, and so, in the three carts, uh, the, each cart represents uh, uh, the different types of toys that appeal to the kids that are trapped inside the house, who refuse to leave. Hmm? And, and that's us right there. We are in love with our wives, uh, our children. Uh, and so forth, and therefore, if, uh, we, uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, are oblivious to all the dangers and the suffering inside the house is burning. Clearly, when a house is burning, you know, there's smoke, there's fire, there's heat, it's uncomfortable, okay? Uh, and yet, because we are so captivated by our, our own playing, our own pleasures, seeking, that we ignore all the danger signals. That's us. Where's the fire? What fire is no big deal. Huh? And 
And that's and so the, the, the Buddha or the elder came up with some expedients. He says, the three kinds of carts out here. And each one, those are the three vehicles, the vehicles of the small vehicle, the sound hearer vehicles, where they like to think. Anyone? Intellect, okay? To the people who are so smart and so reliant upon their thinking and their brains. Are, are, uh, so the Buddha would say, well, those people, I have a cart called the sound hearer cart, the sound hearer vehicle, or the sheep cart, if you will, in that lotus flower. There's a sheep cart, and there's a deer. Is a deer bigger than a sheep? In Vietnam, yeah. And then there is a ox cart. So small cart is a sheep cart, and then a, uh, a cart pulled by a sheep, and then a cart pulled by a deer, and a cart pulled by an ox. So each are progressively bigger, uh, containing more toys, more things that are attractive to us. Okay? And so the elder said, come on out through that door there. Okay, and you can, you can, you have much more fun out here. Okay, and that's what is called the provisional teachings. Uh, the, uh, the, the uh, sound hearer uh, represents the intellectual, in the people who depend primarily on the intellect. Okay, uh, at the best ones of them. And the vehicles of those enlightened conditions actually are the ones a little bit higher level wisdom, not just intellect, but they also have broader, broader wisdom, slightly broader wisdom than the uh, sound hearers. And finally, the third vehicle, the bodhisattva vehicles, are much bigger than the other two, okay? And those are uh, a lot more sophisticated. Now we're talking about, you know, uh, not just toys, we're also talking about Bentleys. Anyway, excuse me. Latest, my latest discovery is Rolls Royce, uh, something like uh, drop dead or something. Uh, $30 million car, four produced in the world. Wouldn't you like to have that? <laughs> I would. Uh, anyway, um, so. You know, each one of us has a passion, okay? And, and, and so that's, that's us right there. And the elder is, is a great psycho psychologist. He's very good in psychology. He says, you guys like to have fun? I have all sorts of toys for you. And that's of three vehicles, okay? Uh, and so by the door there, so the, the kids, uh, and I see the, the, the Buddha is such a great liar that uh, he sounded so convincing, all the kids rush out, okay? And uh, through, I mean, many of them rush out, maybe a dozen rushed out. The rest of them died in the, in the, in the fire, uh, it's okay. Uh, and, and so they rushed out, and, and so they, they're looking for the three carts, and actually, uh, when they're outside, okay, eventually, uh, they are given equal opportunities uh, uh, when the time comes, crossroad meaning at the right time, hmm? mm, meaning that uh, the crossroad here, uh, uh, so, so the, the, uh, they, are, they are presented with choices, the proper choices that will lead them to the actual teachings of the great vehicles, okay? So uh, in, in Buddhism, in Mahayana, it's, this is referred to uh, speaking of the provisional teaching, meaning the three teachings of the sound hearers, the enlightened by conditions, and the bodhisattva vehicles, or provisional teaching for the sake of the actual, okay? Uh, the Buddha teaching. So far, so good. Okay, 547. Uh, and so, uh, so this is a, uh, this is a, uh, I 
548. From this one knows that the three are false in substance, but being but expedience. 视之三阶虚指,以为方便. Hmm. And so, 549. So what he's referring to is that in a Lotus Sutra, at that point in time, the Buddha was about to be done with his career, in his professional career. So he says, I've been preparing you all these years, so I need you to understand the ultimate, my ultimate purpose, the, old, the ultimate goal of my coming here. So let me tell you oh, that what I've been teaching you so far, the three vehicles, uh, meaning the sound hearer vehicles, the enlightened condition, condition vehicles, and the bodhisattva vehicle are just false. Yes? Master, did you skip a slide? I skipped a slide? It seems like you skipped this. Uh, 546. Which one? Uh, 540. Oh, oh, sorry. Forget that. Can we go back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. 546. Since the ox cart by the door is also the same as a sheep and deer, in that none can be got at, in that they have no substance, and in that all the sons demand them. Okay, say uh, light. The elder light. Okay, uh, actually, it's, it's just an inducement. He's only tricking them into coming out so that he can ultimately give them the great, great white ox cart as goal. Okay, uh, and mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, what the Master Chigliang says. He says, boys and girls. Okay. We know uh, that all the three cards that the elders and the, or the Buddha was speaking of, meaning the Ahat's vehicle or the light, the conditioned vehicles or the Bodhisattva vehicles, basically uh, have no substance. Meaning what? And this is, this is Mahayana, only Mahayana people use this word, substance. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, dealing in drugs, okay? It has to do with substance. What is substance? Got substance, hey, the old Ahmed, he's leaving soon, you know that? Three more weeks and uh, six ways. No, no you have to say in English. Uh, he doesn't understand Vietnamese. Substance is Buddha? Substance is what? Buddha? Yeah, cái substance đó là cái Phật tánh đó, cho ra để thấy cái đó. Substance is Buddha nature, he says. Substance, Buddha nature, nature. Anyone, I have to think about it. I don't thought about substance. I only thought of the other kinds of substances. Yeah? What's substance? Hmm? Uh, none, uh, they, none of the cards, none of the teachings whether it's Hinayana or the sutras of the Bodhisattva's teachings are, have no substance and cannot be got at. This is very Buddhist, very Mahayana. The Hinayana people don't talk like this. This is why no one really understands. Especially scholars don't understand. Hmm? No guess? Young Abbot. 
His substance has Buddha nature. Master, I think in this case, uh, the substance here with Buddha I means that uh, they are uh, they're just empty. So there's nothing in there. The three cars are just empty. You can tell when he's not sure. He's like a genius. I don't know. I think I know, but I'm. I am, I don't, don't, don't. You know? <laughs> Could you repeat, please? As I think uh, the, in this case, um, the Buddha say that the three cars uh, have no substance because they just uh, doesn't have real meaning in that. No substance has no real meaning. Okay, uh, anyone else? Okay, the other mumbler, seven. <laughs> the substance. Define substance. Substance, substance is unconditioned. Substance is unconditioned. Versus the, um, the wow, are we getting fancy? You know, it's the first time anyone ever used the word unconditioned for a long time. <laughs> the versus uh, no substance means it's fake and it's conditioned. Fake and conditioned dharma. Conditioned dharma. Hmm. Not bad. Anyone else? Yeah? Anyone would like to take a stab? You see? You see how many of you have this? Uh, <laughs> okay? Uh, this is a proof that Mahayana, okay, is, uh, is uh, incomprehensible. <laughs> we talk about things you don't understand, basically. Okay? And, and so this is when, this is why, this is why, uh, Many of the Hinayana teachers, they don't use this word at all because they don't know what substance is because they don't have it. So the, in Mahayana, there are two kinds of Mahayana teachers, those teachers who have it and those who don't. Have what? Have the substance. Then they can talk about substance because they know what substance is as well. So that's, for example, Master Jingliang, he has substance. That's why he talks about substance. Okay? But uh, most Dharma masters who don't have substance avoid speaking of substance. They talk about lottery, love, success, glory, and so forth. Okay? But they don't talk about substance. Okay? Because as soon here in America you talk about substance, people will ask you, and you won't be able to answer. Okay? So I know it's not much a description of substance, what substance is, uh, but substance is something that the people who answer right is that, you know, I cannot tell which one who's, which one's, uh, who answered right, because if I told you, then they have the substance. <laughs> and then you know they have the substance. So, uh, so that's why, uh, um, and why Master Jing Liang says, do you know that when even with Buddhist teachings that the arts give you, the enlightened conditions give you, or the Bodhisattva gives you, they actually have no substance. They're not real. For ordinary people, let's just say it's not real. Meaning what? Meaning that uh, Meaning that uh, you could call it unconditioned, but then you're substituting substance as something for another thing that you don't understand. Okay? And so uh, they're not real. Meaning that what is not real, when you hear the word not real, you should say, I should not take it seriously. I should not be attached to it. That's what is supposed to invoke the kind of reaction from you. Okay? The most people, when they hear there's no substance, they would say, ah, 
you're full of it. I, you know, I, I don't believe you. But those of you who believe, okay, then you should know better that they're not real uh, and they have no substance, they're not real, therefore let go, drop it. You won't be sorry if you drop it. Very much like the children playing uh, in the house, the burning house. If they were just to get out and leave it, drop whatever they're playing, okay, get out, okay, uh, they will be, they will have, will suffer no loss whatsoever, but all gains. And that's, that's what in Mahayana, we people in Mahayana try to tell you, if you could just drop it, if you could just drop it, you see that it's no big loss, it's no big deal at all what you're dropping. You'd be much better off when you drop it. And that's why the technical term in Buddhism is that they have no substance. Because this word substance here refers to, as some of them said, Buddha substance, Buddha nature. Buddha nature is the only thing that has a true substance. Anything else is unconditioned. Anything, everything else, anything else is not real. Meaning that you can drop anything else and you'll be better off eventually. At first, you lose half of your assets. <laughs> but you'll be better off eventually. Okay? None can be got at. Meaning what? Bukata and Chu Bukata completely. Chu uh, uh, is completely, uh, completely not attainable. Completely, totally not attainable. None can be got at. Yeah? Completely, totally unattainable. What does he mean? Vietnamese uh, Bù Bù thờ bất đắc uh, uh, Bất đắc yeah. This is Buddhist wisdom This is cool Yeah, yeah I mean uh, If, if uh, You know th this, this is This is Supreme Buddhist wisdom hmm. Yeah Yes, JMT Of course, it's here, not who else. Other Koshi Hamugot Doki Demonimida. There is nothing to get. There's nothing to get. Okay? Hmm. All right, anyone else? Bukata. Hmm. Not bad. Yes? Seven. If you chase after them, you, you're going to be sorry and disappointed in the end. That sounds depressing. <laughs> can I summarize it? Can I give you an anal analogy? I don't know if it makes sense to you or not. Love is unattainable. <laughs> really? <laughs> Meaning that whatever is so dear to you is unobtainable, unattainable.
everything is but an illusion. Whatever you think you're gaining is actually but an illusion. It's tremendously profound wisdom. You know, you tell it to ordinary people, to the scholars and intellect people, and say, what are you talking about? You're nonsense. Look at what I have. I have money, you don't. I have power, you don't. I have success, you loser. Okay? But we losers says, but what you got is just an illusion, just a dream. Dream. It's so profound. That's why, oh, that's why the Buddha, when he, uh, uh, when he first became a Buddha, said, this is too profound for these losers, so forget it, I'm not going to bother with them. He basically gave up immediately. He said, nah. He looked everywhere. He said, uh, loser, 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 loser. <laughs> And what happened, lucky for us, is the uh, God King of the first Yana heaven knew that, recognized that, and his job, every single time for each, every single Buddha, his job for being there is to kneel down and say, Buddha, please teach my children. Please teach my children. And he said it three times, please teach my children. I said, Buddha, Boy, you know how to give me a hard time, don't you? So the Buddha has no choice but teach his children, the God's children. Because the first dhyana, heavenly God, looks at all of us down here as we are all his children. Because it's, you know, where we are, we were colonized by the beings from the first dhyana heaven. They flew down just to horse around to play, and they got stuck here. And that's how the first Diana heaven, God King, he looked at that and he said, hey, watch all this happen. He said, oh, they're all my children, my offspring, my great, 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 great grandchildren, and so forth. That's why he's very protective of us. So that's, that's why he says, I cannot help them. I can't really help them. I don't have the power to help them, the wisdom to help them. Only Buddha can. So that's why the first chance, as soon as every single Buddha that appears in our world, the God King, that first Yana God King's job, most important job, is to come down here and request the Buddha to speak Dharma for us. All right? And, uh, because, uh, because, uh, because only Buddha can find a way to help us realize that everything is but an illusion. Questions? Hmm. And that all the sons demand them uh, because, uh, uh, because uh, everyone is chasing after dreams, after illusions. Questions and comments? Yeah, you an illusion, boy. <laughs> yeah? Hmm. All right. Five forty eight. From this one knows that the three are false in substance, being but expedience. Hmm. Five forty nine. Hmm. Commentary. Uh, he says that uh, uh, because of his teaching, uh, this Lotus Sutra teaching that he quoted when the Buddha explained, uh, you should know that the three vehicles are false in substance. They're but expedience. Okay, uh, the, the, three the three teachings. The Ahat's teaching or Agama teaching or Hinayana teachings is designed to help you, to help free you from your ego. Hmm? 
Mm -hmm. So when you free from your ego, you are all your suffering, poof, vanish. Okay, so it's real benefit to you. It's like a toy. Uh, if you think all the pleasures in life are so endearing to you, are so, so, uh, so good for you, uh, wait until you let go the ego. You see how much happier you'll be. So that's, it's called an expedient because it's only a step up. More fun for you. Okay? And then, next vehicle is the enlightened condition vehicle where they are able to have a deeper level of wisdom hmm, where, where uh, they uh, actually uh, enjoy that, that uh, state of, uh, of wisdom more than the sound hearers. So that's why they are they're more enthralled. Uh, by that, and it's very difficult for them to get out, because uh, because because mm, one thing that stands out in the condition to uh, align to condition vehicles, people, the practitioners, is such that they realize that I'm not sure I want to tell you. You want me to? Are you sure? I look at you and say, mm, "These poor people. I can. I don't want to." burst your bubbles. Are you sure? This is... They find out that they are most happy when they by themselves. They need no wife, no need, no children, no need, no, no one. They need no one whatsoever. And they feel incredibly fantastic. That's why they say, I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I don't need your money. I don't need your, you know, I don't need your adoration. I don't need anything from you. And by they get to that point, they're so happy. Huh? No mortgages to pay? <laughs> anyway, JC. You know what's later? No oh. roof to repair, no gas pipes to fix. No altars to grind down and inhale the dust. <laughs> JC, go ahead. Sorry, I, I got distracted. Hello, do you hear me? Uh, my question is if in uh, Arab. You and JC? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So if on the Arahat, first day's Arahat goes to the mountain uh, to a hermit, isolated area, and uh, keep cultivating, do they become pretty a Buddha, like automatically? No, honey, you don't know what you're asking. Okay. Huh. What happened is the, the first day's Arahat, they practice the Dharma doors, they, they have limited practices. And by doing the, so, because of those uh, forms of practices, they can experience a certain level of, of bliss. That's incredible. And they look back and say, it's well worth it. I'm not going back. Okay? Hmm. Uh, and so that's, that's why they can detach. And they, that's why they can say, oh, everything is empty, empty, so forth. Hmm. There's a difference between empty and real, okay? They don't know what the real thing, they only know it's empty. There's a difference in Mahayana, okay? Hinayana says empty. Everything is empty anyway. You hear the word empty, usually it's Hinayana. Mahayana is not real. 
You pay attention, you see. Yes, one. Uh, Master, we have a, a YouTube question. Um, but first, I'd like to thank uh, our audience members. Uh, we have 38 members live. Um, and if you can, please click the like button and subscribe. I'm just filling in the role. <laughs> uh, thank you. Anyway, um, Empty Mirror asks, uh, Master, how do you hope your disciples integrate the teaching that the carts uh, they sincerely dedicate themselves to are without substance? One more time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Empty Mirror asks, Master, how do you hope your disciples integrate the teaching that the carts they sincerely dedicate themselves to are without substance? How do I do that? Have no substance? The thing I've been teaching, the three cards? I don't treat the teach cards. That's the that's easy answer. I don't teach three cards at all. I teach only one card. <laughs> I don't even call it uh, a buffalo or rhinoceros. I don't care. I just need to you one thing I teach. What is it? You're a loser. <laughs> you can be better. Why are you such a loser? See, the, the Buddha has his own wisdom. He says, you guys left have fun? I say, that's great because these, these people have blessings. That's why they have fun. You guys are different. Now you guys are losers and you're suffering. Okay? Uh, so it turns out in our Dharma ending age, you're finding out that the suffering bothers you more than your pleasure. Agree or disagree? Hmm? You know, you can have a lot of fun, okay? Uh, but uh, all it takes is for you depressed people is one bad thing and you say, oh, this life is not worth it. Okay? And, and so, no, I, I don't teach you three cards. Yeah. I only... Yeah, well, I only teach you. Uh, uh, I only teach you uh, uh, whatever, uh, whatever, uh, 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 whatever, uh, whatever it takes. Okay, where was I again? You guys keep on distracting me. Okay, so anyway, so so the arts, they. Uh, because of that dharmas, they can get pretty good. They can get to the point where they are free from the smallness of their egos. And they realize uh, the egos are too limiting. Okay? And that's why they're able to shed Okay, and experience emptiness of the ego. Okay, and and they and they said, "Wow, this is I've never been this happy before. Never ever." Okay, uh, in contrast, the enlightened enlightened to conditions uh, practitioners, they immediately withdraw from life and they are able to survive by themselves. Lifetime after lifetime. They, don't, they avoided people, okay? Uh, and, and eventually, because of that particular isolation, uh, they experience far greater bliss or pleasure in their spiritual practice. Mm. To the point where they said, I don't need no one. Okay? Oh. And that's a problem. And the problem is that uh, the wisdom is only a, 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 a is limited by the isolation, and therefore they don't, they, the Dharma door, the Dharma, the teachings did not prepare them 
for uh, even higher levels of bliss, higher levels of fun in the Bodhisattva vehicle. Okay? Uh, and so, but in essence, uh, in essence, uh, the, one, the one thing here that most of you don't know how to ask is, uh, they even saying that the Bodhisattva vehicles are also false. Only one vehicle is the Buddha vehicle, is real. So meaning Bodhisattvas are also a messed up. Because for you, Bodhisattva is so far away. Oh my God, I wish I could be a Bodhisattva, I'd be so happy. <laughs> That's why you don't dare ask the question. Huh? Even Bodhisattva vehicles are also false. The proof is that many, many Bodhisattvas okay, are stuck. They don't, uh, they, they are stuck because their teachers did not prepare them properly. So, uh, that's why in spiritual practices, it's very easy to get stuck, including bodhisattva. That's my, my emphasis for you. I don't mean to, to criticize and belittle the bodhisattva vehicle because I'm no bodhisattva, but the problem with bodhisattva, according to this teaching here, uh, is still not ultimate. Meaning that bodhisattvas too get stuck if they're not careful. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it in some foreign countries. Huh? I'm seeing it here. I'm seeing it. So it's, it's, it's uh, humbling to see how, how that, uh, that we can be so easily stuck Okay? Uh, even bodhisattva, the experience, bodhisattva vehicles is just uh, temporary. Bodhisattvas have problems too. I know in my, you know, this is not a corporate uh, 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 line for Mahayana people, especially Chinese people. Chinese people, or Asian people, bodhisattva, oh my God, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, I, 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 I die, and that's the biggest achievement for me. No, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a myth. Uh, bodhisattva vehicle is also an expedient. You're bored, right? It's, uh, ahats, unlike the conditioned bodhisattva, eh, it doesn't matter. And that's a Mahayana, he's just listen and it goes in one ear and goes out in the other. It's, uh, he sounds like a clown, that's all. Okay? Nothing to attach to. That's a message. Okay, if you really have blessings, you really have wisdom, that shows that you are, it manifests itself as a form, you can let go, including hearing what you're hearing today, you can let go, okay? Uh, then, then you'll be happier inside here. And this guy here, young man here, who's uh, just won the lottery, he says, I don't get it. <laughs> Typical, all of you. She's same thing, I don't understand. It's nothing to understand. Okay? This is, this is, uh, this is, uh, don't, don't get too proud. It, again, to me, what really annoys me is that a lot of people listen to this, especially my peers who listen to Masha Shio and say, this is all experience, this is all experience uh, and so forth, it's no, no big deal. Uh, but uh, it only words, it's, it's uh, uh, only concepts. And what they're referring to here is, um, how do you experience it? My question has always been, you sound good. Hey, man, can I get it? 
It's like, can I use an example? Beer? I hear, I heard it's pretty good beer, but can I taste it? I mean, um, excuse me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you can talk all you want. You can say, this is great champagne, great uh, uh, Cordon Bleu, uh, Bleu, no, Blue, you Americans. Uh, okay. Pinot Noir and so forth. Uh, it's about, it's, you can talk all you want, but it's not until you taste it, then it becomes real to you. That's the analogy. We keep on talking about it, yet you can't taste it. You can't experience it. Okay? If you only talk about it, you can't experience it, it's called, it's not real. How's that? You only talk, 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 talk. You only think, 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 think. You can't even experience it. Because all the talk, all the things you can imagine, can never fully describe how it tastes. Hmm? Agree or disagree? I, 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 have to, I have to admit to you, it bothers me. Now I see, I go people and they go to the bar and they drink, you know, the cordon bleu. I mean, cordon bleu. <laughs> I say, wow, I forgot how it tastes like. <laughs> Darn it. I know it's not real, but <laughs> I can't even try it. <laughs> so you think I'm not suffering? I'm suffering too. <laughs> okay, uh, so he says, come on, you have to let go. Uh, so Buddhism. Hmm. Wisdom, okay? Never mind all, all these big words. Buddhist, Buddhist wisdom, if you have wisdom, is, it boils down to what? Can you drop it? We not, and, and again, I need to emphasize, we're not advocating you must be poor. If you can help it. It's okay to be rich. Sound better? <laughs> That's my, my misconception too. So you Buddhists have no money, no temple, no nothing? So you call it fun? No, Buddhism is that it's okay to be rich, it's okay to be famous, but can you walk away from it? Can you? If you can, it's called wisdom. Okay, why? Because, let me tell you why you're able to walk away from it. Why? Taiwan man. We better call a Taiwanese man and before they get eaten up by China. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Speaking of politics, can we talk at just one? Can I give, me my, give you my two cents worth? The Chinese got it wrong. If I were Chinese, which I'm not, why would I cover Taiwan? I tell you what I would do instead. Anyone? Just for fun. I'm, I'm advocating it's okay to cover it. Then I said, if you, it's okay to cover it, then why only cover Taiwan? I would go for Russia. <laughs> it's bigger. More oil. And they're weak now. <laughs> Think about it. All they have to do is, I even give them a strategy. All they have to do is, all they have to do is say, hey, Putin, I will send you a lot of tanks, airplanes for you to use. <laughs> Here they are. And march into Russia. How's that? That is fun, man. Why Taiwan? Taiwan? <laughs> so small. Anyway, you like? Huh? <laughs> 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 
and you don't have to get wet. Taiwan is <laughs> tiny and very wet. Hmm. Anyway, what was I asking you, Taiwan man? You forgot to. See? What are you asking? Why you to drop? Yeah. It's a, thank you. <laughs> Why are you able to drop? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, go ahead and answer. So you mean like why am I able to drop money? Uh, it's, I, I guess, empty. It, it, like after, after end of this life, it doesn't carry over. And that's why the Taiwanese have no chance. <laughs> they think like Chinese. That's what the Chinese teach. It's empty. My gosh. This is this is why the Chinese teaching is it's profound, it's somewhat abstract because that's why nowadays we don't understand what they're talking about. It's empty. No. Yes, Chinese person, seven. Uh, because they see that they already have the biggest treasure, which which is the Buddha nature within themselves. So there's nothing they cannot let go of. So Chinese. <laughs> Let's go to Korea. JC. Master, I think we can walk away from it because you know you will get even more next time. Yeah, see, Korea gets it. <laughs> let me relate to the girls. You know, when you have two suitors, which one do you choose? The one who has more money, man. <laughs> My point being that we can walk away because we get more by walking away. That's the bottom line. Okay, how you do it. You see, the Chinese are so abstract. I say, buke te, and so forth. And, 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 and the empty. But no, the real psychology for us, we can walk away because we get more by walking away. <laughs> Drop Taiwan, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, seven. That's so American. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, that's why they had to bring my yana to America, man. <laughs> because now we speak out your language. The American language. It's all real, man. <laughs> Anyone? Okay. Uh, so no, no substance again. Yeah. No substance. Meaning that if you really have wisdom, you will have seed and no substance. And I tell you what, not only, not only you, will you find out more substance, but when you have wisdom, actually it's more fantastic, it's more fun. It's more than you imagine. Okay, otherwise, if it weren't the case, then our hearts are losers, and like the condition of losers, and so are bodhisattvas. They <laughs> drop for, for what? Huh? Think about it. They're dropping all those things for what? Shaving your head for what? How, why do you shave your head, a baby? <laughs> huh? <What? laughs> now she learned to. <laughs> now it's like, okay, he's beating up on me again. <laughs> why? See again. <laughs> okay. Hmm. See that? See, same thing. It's more fun, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I don't know why the Chinese like to say, much as you like to say this, last year, uh, a poor would still have a place where I can hang my owl, I mean, I have a house or a wall, something. Uh, this year, I'm poor, but no owl. No all. I don't know. I don't like this, but I, I left it because Master Shiho did it for a reason. Hmm. Two Chinese. 550. For the former three to be the three vehicles and the latter one to be the one vehicle is not deviation from principle of the teaching. Okay, I think tonight I'm very happy because in spite of all the noises on the back, uh, we're making progress. Usually, you know, we don't go through many slides. So. <laughs> okay, uh, so they talk about, in the Buddhist teaching, when they talk about Hinayana or Mahayana, uh, one vehicle um, uh, or three vehicles, uh, or now they talk about uh, um, all them or talk only one Buddha vehicle, okay? Uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, they are, they are, they are, uh, they are not wrong. Uh, they are very consistent. And he he'll, he'll explain one vehicle here is a, is a means a Buddha vehicle, okay? A little bit of jargon you should be aware of. Five fifty two, but if one only says. The Dharma flower is the actual, and then one disregards all the prasya, along with all the other great vehicle sutras or ultimate meaning. Okay, so, uh, so now Master, Master Jing Liang says, all these scholars here, when they divide and they say the Dharma flower is the actual, uh, then uh, uh, the actual teaching, then, then you are declaring that the prajna teachings is also not actual. Okay? Along with all the other great vehicle sutras of ultimate meaning, meaning there's a sutra called the Limitless Meaning Sutra, Wu Liang Yi Jing. Okay, Yi Jing. Huh? Sounds like externalist dharma, huh? that Master O. Abbott likes to use. <laughs> okay? Uh, and so he says, he says uh, no, you can't, you can't say the Dharma Flower Sutra is the only sutra that, that is uh, actual. Uh, then, because Prajna Sutra is also actual, has actual teachings there. Uh, sutras of, of uh, uh, limitless meaning also has actual teachings there. Okay? Mm. All right? Uh, uh, almost skip one slide. You should have a, a different kind of uh, do a fundraising. Uh, 554. From this one knows that the previous great also had provisional and actual. The Dhamma flower merely gathers in the previous provisional. <laughs> So the master, great Master Ching Liang says, in the, in the various sutras in Mahayana, you know, they mention uh, the, the Buddha one vehicle, the Buddha vehicle teachings as well, in everywhere. And therefore, uh, therefore the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the great sutras, Mahayana sutras, uh, that before the Dharma flower actually, uh, actually contain uh, both uh, provisional and actual. Uh, and, um, and the Dharma flower sutra uh, merely, uh, merely gathers in the previous provisional, meaning that the uh, Dharma flower sutra says, okay, finally, I tell you what, I'm on my way out, okay, let me tell you, uh, drop everything, it doesn't matter. Okay, what I've been teaching you is Buddha vehicle. Simple as that. Okay, so uh, so uh, so do not. You don't need to do little uh, provisional teaching. Uh, provisional meaning the the small vehicle, the, the intellect. The, the teaching only appeals to intellect. Uh, 
Mm. And the Mahayana people look at intellect and say, oh, you are so limited. Uh, and so he said, the, those teachings are actually a, a, a subset okay, uh, uh, of the, the total picture. 556. Therefore, the three are said to be empty in substance. The previous actual did not interfere with the expedient, and so it is not gathered in. Uh, 557, if people come to you and ask you tough questions about the Dharma, you can quote Master Ting Yang here, take out this page here, and just tell them, did you know this? And they will, huh? <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening to me too. I said, what are you talking about? Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, so he says, basically, uh, Buddha has his own wisdom. And, and this, this is, to me, to me, it's a little bit of a knock on the scholars because they talk a lot. And it tends to be more confusing than it has to be. Okay, basically he's saying that uh, the Buddha's uh, teachings, okay, uh, even though, uh, even though uh, he teaches you differently, okay, uh, teaches you small vehicle, teaches you arhat, teaches you enlightened condition, teaches you uh, bodhisattvas, low level, high level, and so forth, uh, it's all part of the one teaching, okay. Uh, and they're not in contradiction at all. They don't contradict each other at all. There's no contradiction, no no exclusion. They're all intermixed. Okay, they're all part of the same thing. All right. Five fifty-eight. If it is a case of gathering in the provisional to return it to the actual, then that is assembling the three to make them one. If one breaks open the small to reveal the great, then that is assembling the two to return to the one. 若约会全归时,即是会三为一,若破小显大,即是会二归一。Okay, um, sorry folks. Remember, one ear goes out the other, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Five fifty nine. Mm. Uh, so again, we keep harping about the three vehicles, um, bodhisattva, sound ears, and enlightened conditions, and so forth. Those are the concepts you want to know. Okay, these are the basic jargons you should know uh, because they represent your future level of wisdom. These are the milestones you will. It's just like like us. We talk about, in my era, first you become a millionaire, okay? And then a billionaire, and a trillionaire, and so forth. Those are the milestones of success. Agree or disagree? Never mind. <laughs> and and uh, so, uh, so they said, uh, let me explain to you. Two, uh, 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 basically, uh, the Buddha speaks different things and, and uh, basically take, uh, take a, a, big, a big piece and break into smaller pieces and reassemble them back into the, the one big piece. That's what he's, he's talking about. All these concepts, Mahayana, Hinayana, Ahats, Enlightened Condition, Bodhisattvas, again, are the various phases of your spiritual journey. You will have to go through them all. That's why it's worthwhile to hear of them. And you may say, I don't know what you're talking about. But if you walk this path, you will experience them all. And you say, wow, this is what's fascinating about, about the Buddhist teachings is that whatever you hear today, you will experience yourself. And you say, wow, this is so Cool. Buddha did not mislead me at all. Mm. 
okay? Mm. 560. If one opens the, provision, the provisional to reveal the actual, then the three are the one. And there is no other further one. 若开权显时,则三世一更无别一. Okay, now, again, let me remind you again, for the sake of new people who are confused, totally confused by now, and fed up. Do we have anything for them after the lecture, like uh, food or ice cream? <laughs> Sweets, it's fattening. I went to Asian Museum, okay, Art Museum in San Francisco. It's nice, actually. And I was going through it, and I, speaking of sweets, I walk, 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 and say, "Wow, look at all these beautiful statues of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and it dawned on me one thing in common: they have." You never guess what they have in common. All Buddhas, statues are very adorned, you know. Shakyamuni Buddha, Amitabha Buddha, Wanyin Bodhisattva, you name it, okay? Very beautiful. The craftsmanship is just fantastic how they could conjure up these artistry it's a long time ago, like, you know, thousands of years ago, and the way they look at them, wow, this is fascinating. They have no soul whatsoever, but it, you know, it's a different thing, okay? Uh, they're so empty to me, but uh, lifeless to me. Okay. Uh, but the one thing that they all have in common, you never guess what it is. You can't see it. Uh, if I demonstrate to you, you can't see it because I'm wearing the wrong clothes. They all have pot bellies. <laughs> Serious? What do you mean? <laughs> that woman is upset. <laughs> How could you be so disrespectful? This is the fact. You go to the, to the museum and look at the Bodhisattva and Buddha statues. They all, you know. The belly is bigger than the chest. How did I get there again? <laughs> That's to open the provisional to reveal the actual. That is, if you look at these statues, they are provisional for the, the, the faithful to worship, to get inspired by that, so that they eventually believe and practice and then they will see the actual truth behind is that the pot belly is not real. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so what happened is these, these, uh, these uh, the, the divisions of Hinayana, Mahayana, Theravada, and so forth are all provisional, are just temporary, are just expedients to appeal to you Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, actually, uh, actually, um, when you open, when you um, open up the provisional, okay, uh, then you actually see the underlying principles behind it. The the under the the underlying purpose of whatever they did you told. Uh, then uh, that is that you find out that and they all. Uh, there's underlying truth uh, called the great vehicle. Okay? It's nothing new. Okay? Different facets on Buddha vehicles. Okay? 562. Therefore, that sutra says, what you are now walking, that is the Bodhisattva way, and all that has been paid out and taken in is known by him. 故必经云,如等所行是菩萨道,先所出纳,是子所知。Okay, did I skip anything? Okay. Uh, and, 
And so, uh, 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 and so, uh, the sad thing, uh, the sad thing about us, is that we overestimate uh, our wisdom, our knowledge. Okay, we don't realize that um, that what we know is so little, uh, is, is nothing at all. Okay, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, 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 Buddha says, but don't worry, don't worry, uh, because uh, because of the nature of the teaching here that you're able to hear right now, and you say, you say, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. The mere fact you're hearing about this, make sure we'll plant the seeds for you, even though you don't need to understand, even though you don't understand, okay? For you, in the future, to be able to realize uh, the, uh, the, um, the fruition. All right? The Buddha knows that. Okay, and and here uh, um, here the com commentary of the Master Shenhua says uh, the elder is uh, who, who symbolizes the Buddha. He says, "I have this uh, wealth uh, called wisdom, called knowledge, that uh, this wonderful knowledge about life that." the kind of life that you don't understand. You don't have any clues. Uh, and uh, and uh, this wonderful wealth here, uh, you are my heirs. I want to give it all to, to you all. And, and so, uh, so this is the deep desire of the Buddhas. They're doing all this. Uh, endure a lot of suffering, a lot more than we can imagine, okay, in order to be able to create the kind of wealth, very much like you work so hard to create the wealth for your children, hmm? for your family, very much like a Buddha. Buddha did that too. He worked very hard, suffered a lot to generate the wealth uh, that with the ultimate objective of passing it on to next generations. Just like us. Okay? Hmm. And uh, 565, uh, the one concept here also in Buddhism, and uh, there's this, uh, this, uh, this uh, anecdote where, um, where there is this uh, rich man very, very rich. He's so wealthy, beyond uh, measures. But he has a son who says, no, I, I want to look for treasures. Okay? And so he ran away from home mm. looking for his treasures. And he wandered around for 20 years, destitute, hungry, so poor, so much suffering. And to the point where he had to, uh, to uh, suffer greatly uh, without knowing that the elder, his father, who, and the Buddha, who knew already his son would have to go through a lot of suffering and experience poverty, dire uh, poverty, that the Buddha sold a priceless pearl into the son's clothing. I would never do that. I would go to the Swiss bank. Okay? Uh, but in, the, in, in that anecdote, the the rich, the rich elder, the rich, um, uh, rich man uh, knew that the, he could not talk the son out of it. So before the son ran away, the rich man 
secret, secretly uh, sold sued a a a, sued a, a, sued a, a private sparrow in the in, in inside the son's clothes. So the son, for all twenty years wandering around in poverty, didn't know that he was extremely wealthy. Okay, uh, and and so uh, so he. For 20 years, this poor son here was sweeping dung. Dung. Dung or yung? Yung or dung? <laughs> Sorry, I have to throw that in. My Vietnamese name used to be yung too, by the way. <laughs> dung too. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So he was sweeping dung to uh, sustain himself, okay? And eventually, after, after 20 years of doing that, he said, I am not making headway. I'm going to go, I'm going to go home and see Daddy. So he went home, and the Daddy what happened to you? Well, didn't you know that you have a pearl, a, a priceless pearl inside your, 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 your clothes? That you've always been rich, okay? Yeah. And, and that's, uh, that's the nature of the Buddha. The Buddha, when he gave us the teaching, when you hear these teachings, it's the same as he's sewing a priceless pearl into your clothes. And it turns out that historically, in the history of mankind, you must sweep dung for 20 years. What is that? Sweeping dung represents sweeping away your thinking, your thoughts. What thinking do you have right now? Sweep it away. Don't tell me. Just sweep it away. <laughs> it's all dung or yung. <laughs> yes, JC. So before, before JC asks a question, I want to address, uh, make a comment for Xianan, who's offering to give me matcha tea. The matcha tea they sent me six months ago is expiring. <laughs> I haven't touched it. How did she know? I don't know. My disciple has, I'm, I, I swear to you, some kind of eye, okay? <laughs> she knew I haven't touched them for six months. So she sent me uh, a suggestion through uh, some Korean posse uh, here. He says, Master, uh, would you like to send me back the matcha tea? <laughs> so that I can exchange new ones for you? Because yours is expiring. Uh, and my first reaction is, oh yeah. How nice. How did she know I haven't touched mine for six months? Sorry, Jay Hyung, I've been so busy. Okay? And, but the second reaction is fine, fine reaction. Oh, no way, I'm not going to do that. You know why not? Because it gives Yanan an excuse to buy more uh, matcha tea. So every six months, he has to buy more matcha tea to exchange them for me. Xianan, bad influence. We are beggars. We're not supposed to enjoy the good things unless Master is there. <laughs> okay? Bad image. Okay, wrong image to convey. All right? Cut it out. Okay, where were we again? Uh, sweeping dung. Sweeping dung is that, is that, it sounds bad, but actually it's necessary. You need to suffer. You need to endure the hardship. Okay? Even though you have the treasure, you still need to work for it. And the work, very difficult work. Of course, when you, can you imagine someone having to sweep dung every day to make a living? <laughs> okay? Uh, it's hard work. But uh, the sweeping dung or sweeping yung refers to stopping your thoughts. 
Stop thinking. You have to be convinced that thinking is like uh, producing dung. You need to sweep it away. This is why, this is why my yarn is so hard to explain to you, smart people. Uh, yes, Corin, you too. 네, 한국어 유튜브에 올라온 성봉님 질문입니다. 삼승의 차이는 선정력인가요? Is the difference of three vehicles concentration? No. Difference in the three vehicles is this is why I feel that the Chinese is too abstract and I don't think they really address our the needs of our times. Okay? Back then, no, it's different. But nowadays, nowadays, the common threat for all of us is suffering. You all are so bothered by suffering. that we are constantly, subconsciously, trying to get relief by having fun. And what the Chinese and the people in the prior generation, I feel, uh, by making it too abstract, it sounds good on paper, it sounds good amongst the people in the know, but it does not connect with people like us, like the lady there, these poor people like you, who only see suffering. You crave for fun, for pleasure. I'm trying to tell you that the three vehicles are a lot of fun, folks, a lot more than what you have right now. That's what the Dharma Flower Sutra is teaching. The Lotus Sutra says, whatever you have right now is fun, but it's much more fun with, with these three cards. It's a fact. They don't put enough emphasis on that. They only took it as a, oh, it's a superior thing. No. It worked for the children back then, for people back then. Okay? It's because of the emphasis of, it's more fun with the three vehicles. That's the bottom line. Bottom line is that the teachers, the spiritual teachers, fail to help their students, their disciples, achieve those fun, experience those fun. That's why it's all talk. It's all concept now. You have to experience it. You have to touch it. You have to feel it. Because it's real to you. Very much like in your Lotus Sutra. Okay? They're playing. They know it's fun. And when they're here, they're convinced they go outside and they can have more fun. Okay? They believe it. And they did. Sitting young, it's more fun, man. I mean, sit with tongue, seriously. <laughs> if you could just, just can we, can we be blunt? If you could just develop the ability to stop thinking, then you begin to experience the fun you never experienced before. All right? Hmm. And 
that's only the beginning. And after that is high levels of fun, even more fascination, more wonderful things to experience. Okay, oh, but you go to Korea. You talk about fun, fun, fun. No, you have to tell them. American Mahayana more fun. <laughs> Help them experience it. Okay. All right. Uh, 566 next time. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.